My name is John Young, and I'm a grateful student of Georgia Radio. In 1978, Dan Mason literally changed my life by inviting me to come aboard a station that was doing very well, had an incredible, consistent staff, and gave me the instructions, call me if anything goes wrong, but just try not screw it up. That wasn't too terribly hard, because if you know anything about Atlanta Radio, you know that the 70s and 80s were made for a station like Z93. It energized a city. Z93 actually began as a top 40 station in the early 70s. It was a classical station before that. You won't find any memos or program philosophies on paper ever floating around. Z93 always had double digit numbers in 12 plus. And it kind of fascinated me at times. I'd hear people like John Leader, who worked at Radio and Records Magazine. He said, you know, out here we called you guys KHJ East. And I'd go, you're kidding. I mean, we were living in the moment. And to this day, I am still stunned, amazed, and humbled by the depth of talent that came through this awesome station. It was a hot button that made people's hearts beat. The listener was the key. Their world revolved around radio. Atlanta was a hot city in a seductive region. Atlanta rocked, and we rocked Atlanta. I'd like to tell you about a remarkable radio station. This is what you've been waiting for. Ross and Wilson. Z93, 836. <laughs> Z93 doubles the music. I'm trying to make you happy. Z93, continuing a solid half hour of music. Z93 with Atlanta's most popular music. Z93 loves you, Atlanta. You have a remarkable mouth. Well, Z93 is a remarkable radio station. Ross and Wilson. Z93, it is 8.07, seven minutes after 8 o'clock here on the nearly famous Ross and Wilson show. <laughs> Meet Agnes oh. Scott Welder's coach, Bullet McFoon. The big uh, game was... Football weekend. Yeah, man. last weekend. Uh, what, what team was it again, Bullet? They played the South Clemson Freaks. How did it go? What, um, you know? We lost, man. Lost. 61 to nothing. <laughs> 61 to nothing. Yeah. It's all right. We beat the point spread. <laughs> <laughs> In continuing traffic news, we got a car on fire on Ponce de Leon at Myrtle Street, so right. grab your marshmallows and head on over. <laughs> Z93 851 9 coming up momentarily. John Young has details on how Americans may talk a lot about exercising, but talk is all that most Americans do about it. And a prime example in John Young himself, who is currently suffering from Dunlop's disease. Dunlop? That's where his gut Dunlop over, over his belt. Do it. <laughs> Let's get out of here, you turkey. Long before any other station had him, Steve McCoy started on Z93. Welcome to the Steve McCoy Show on Z93. That's ABBA when all is... One of the younger new kids is number two morning man Steve McCoy on top 40 station Z93. I think everybody is very good and it's it's the toughest competition that I've ever come up against and uh, we have done very well so far against them so I'm very happy about the, the way the show has been accepted. Z93, a little in love and Steve McCoy along with Cliff Richard it's 722 in the morning. It's the Steve McCoy Show, a little bit of light drizzle when I was driving in this morning. Did you get that, John? No, it had stopped. I got a friend coming in from out of town this afternoon going to a lot of trouble to take me to the Braves game. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm looking for any excuse in the world. Uh, can I have your tickets? I'll be happy for you to go in my place and tell them you're me. <laughs> Atlanta, this is Mr. T on Z93. I pity the fool who messes with my Shaka Khan record. All right, Mr. I got T. I Steve to play today. Yeah, let me get back over here to the mic. Ooh. Steve, you broke sorry. my record. I'm sorry, Mr. T. I'm gonna whoop your behind, man. Boom, ball, boom, <laughs> we 
Randy Reeves took listeners from mornings to afternoons on C93. C93 with Randy Reeves. I don't mean for this to be depressing, but uh, I'm going to take you back now to an era when gasoline was about 29 cents a gallon, and uh, you could burn up a couple of tankfuls in one Sunday afternoon. Just cruising around, listening to your radio. And the four seasons were there. Hit Radio Z93, Huey Lewis in the news, doing a triple bypass on the heart of rock and roll. It's still thumping. Z93 with Billy Joel, and I love you just the way you are. What a great thing to say on a day like today as I look out over a beautiful Atlanta day with sunny skies, 78 degrees, just the kind of day that makes you want to say, I love you, Atlanta. Hit Radio Z93 congratulating the winner of our Chattahoochee Outdoor package, a complete day of rafting. Tony Marie Balch picked up the prize. Congratulations. C93, six minutes after five o'clock. Dale O'Brien, another I Love You Atlanta party coming up. Don't bring me down. C93, ELO, don't bring me down. And Donna Summer's hot stuff before that. 19 after five o'clock with Dale O'Brien. C93, sail on. Not a bad idea with this weather today. All the rain. The Commodores from Midnight Magic, which will be our feature album at midnight tonight. Dale O'Brien at 527. Ventura Highway in America at 10 before 6 o'clock with Dale O'Brien. Mel Cargill will be here at 6, and he's going to have 30-minute music sweeps every hour from 6 o'clock TFN. 4 o'clock in Atlanta. This is Chris Thomas with another hour of the most music. Coming up next, Steve Perry's latest from Street Talk on Z93. Hit Radio Z93, 408. Chris Thomas cranking out seven in a row with Irene Cara. Hit Radio Z93, where yesterday on Thousand Dollar Thursday, Roy Hill won $1,000 for the correct dollar bill serial number. Big winning is going on all the time right here at Z93. Michael Jackson and Mick Jagger from the Jackson's forthcoming Victory album. Atlanta nights were hot, and so was Lindsay on Z93. Z93, kicking off five in a row, over 20 minutes of continuous music now with Joan Jett. Z93, we guarantee the music. Details coming soon. 7 40 Lindsay with you. Here's the third of four in a row. Huey Lewis in the news. Z93, home of thousand dollar Thursdays. Remember to save those dollar bills with 93s in them because Steve McCoy will turn your one dollar bills into one thousand dollars during thousand dollar Thursdays right here on Z93. Steve Mabel kept it going. WZGC Atlanta. A minute into the midnight hour on Z93. This is Steve Maple with yet another hour of Atlanta's hottest music. Z93. Z93 congratulates Pat Lee of Dunwoody and Ava Laney of Forest Park. Both of them just got tickets to the fun movie of 1984. <laughs> Hot dog. Got a special advanced screening coming up this Thursday. Both Ava and Pat are going to it. A bunch of their friends. Now, coming up a little bit after one, we'll give you a chance to win. So if you'd like to win big... I'm talking about big. Keep it right here. Right now, let's get down into some heavy metal. Metal health from Quiet Riot on Z93. Then all nights rock with Jay Andrews. It's 2 o'clock with Jay Andrews on Z93, and I've got another hour of Atlanta's hottest music going on right now. Z93. Always a better song on Z93. This is Jay Andrews at 323. Cindy Lauper's here, and she says girls just want to have fun. We're going to tear the roof off this sucker right now. You got C93 in Atlanta. And George Harrison asking, what is life? I'll tell you what life is. Life is being a big-time disc jockey in the most beautiful city in the South and playing the best music in the nation. I love Z93. This is Z93 Atlanta. Z93. The emotion that's been the most difficult tonight is having to come together, relive these memories, and then admit that it's over. That building right there, that's the building we were in. It's long been torn down. The name is gone. The format? Let's just say there's never been a station in Atlanta like Z93 since this era of Z93. This fabulous staff made it look easy, but it was their commitment, their passion, their enthusiasm that just over-delivered. You can't teach people to love radio like this bunch did. We inspired each other and made lifelong friendships from this experience, for which I'm grateful for forever. Speaking for the whole staff, I'd like to thank the Georgia Radio Hall of Fame for remembering us and giving us a chance to all get together and thank you for remembering what we did. And I thank this great staff for not only touching my life, but for allowing me to know them and call them friends. 
Georgia Radio is full of so many great memories. We are proud to be one chapter in its rich heritage. Three.